Hello dear patients, today we are going to review the case presented on the picture. This is a case of chlamydiosis in a man. This case is a case of chlamydial urethritis, inflammation of urethra. We see discharges. By the way, these discharges bother the patient only in the mornings. They are almost not visible at daytime. That's why a lot of people consider chlamydiosis an asymptomatic disease, as the main symptoms manifest in the morning after long-term abstinence from urination. This patient had it. In the mornings he had such discharges and adhesion of urethral lips, as well as little burning and itch during urination. At daytime it's more or less calm, at least discharges disappear, but some itch in the canal remains and it bothers the patient. So he came to our clinic for diagnostics of such urethritis. PCR analysis and smear for flora were taken, and as a result of that, inflammation was found. In the morning smear, leukocytes were 25 to 30. Positive chlamydia was found, and also culture test for bacteria was taken, but it was all normal with bacteria. They were in normal concentration. These were normal bacteria living in urethra. So correction of bacteria was not required. What was done for this patient? A course of antibiotics was done in combination with longidaza enzymes, in combination with immune medications of Panavir and Azon intravenously, and two antibiotics were changed. A local treatment was also done before that. Ultrasound study was done before treatment, an ultrasound study of prostate and testicles. The reason why I often insist on it, particularly when it's not clear we, when infection happened, as often chlamydia initiates such conditions as long-term chronic urethritis, prostatitis. At least such patients come to me who had been treated by pill-preferring doctors. They had a course of tablets for 5-7 days. In some cases, chlamydia leave and in some cases they remain. However, the person remains with prostatitis for all his life. After the course of treatment, control analysis were taken. This is smear test of flora, this is PCR analysis for chlamydia, and as a result, a complete healing of the patient was found. I'd like to pay your attention at the fact that chlamydia relates to causative agents that often give complications. As I said before, in men, prostate is affected. In my practice, I often had cases when my patients went somewhere to a business trip and were unable to have a complete course of treatment. They came to pill-preferring doctors. In such cases, I recommend rather not doing anything, and as these patients then return after pill-preferring doctors with prostatitis. I have tens of such patients already, so don't risk your health. Get a normal treatment. It's not necessary to get treatment in our clinic. You should be treated by competent venerologists and not by pill-preferring doctors during such serious diseases as chlamydiosis in men because it can give complications and you would remember about saving relatively small amount of money on treatment, but your male function would suffer. So it's better not to get to it and to initially treat such infectious disease of urogenital tract right from the beginning. If it is necessary to diagnose and treat chlamydiosis in men and women, you can consult venerologists of our paid medical center of Dermatom Neurologic Dispensary in Moscow. We have experienced specialists who do diagnostics and treatment of such diseases. We are waiting for you in our clinic.